Bill C-150, which I think Mr. Trudeau first presented in 1967, finally came into law in 1969, was that first major step in securing gay and lesbians' uh, full rights in, uh, within Canada. Incremental, though. And when we, we now look back on it, we realize that we've had 40 years of steady progress on, on human rights within Canada. It was the start to decriminalize, but it certainly wasn't the end. Um, if it had not happened, obviously the other rights wouldn't have flowed. Changes to provincial and territorial as well as Canadian human rights legislation wouldn't have happened. Um, everything began to flow from Mr. Trudeau's courageous uh, first bill. May uh, 14, 1969 is a historical day for all people. Not just gays and lesbians, but it's uh, not just the, the fact that the, the homosexuality was decriminalized. Uh, but the fact that it opened up the uh, possibilities for, I think, all people who believe in human rights. And Trudeau was truly a great champion of human rights, who believe in equality. And here we are today, 40 years later, um, as the children of that legacy, um, who have inherited this great tradition of, uh, of acceptance, of a tolerance, of, um, of, of people being able to live together in peace and harmony. We have now uh, um, uh, same-sex marriages. We have come a long way in acceptance with in our laws. C'est un geste qui, à l'époque, était extrêmement audacieux, qui nous a permis de reconnaître que les personnes homosexuelles sont des citoyens de plein droit, que ces personnes-là peuvent vivre leur homosexualité sans s'exposer à des représailles, à des poursuites judiciaires. Je me rappelle, pour avoir parlé à des militants euh, de cette époque-là, combien euh, tout, il y avait une clandestinité. Donc, il faut se rappeler d'où on est parti pour savoir que finalement la condition homosexuelle aujourd'hui n'a rien à voir avec celle que nos aînés ont pu connaître il y a 40 ans. You know, I was alive 40 years ago and uh, thinking about issues related to my sexuality. Um, at that time I would have been uh, 13 years old, so pretty aware of, uh, of uh, my growing understanding of uh, myself as a young gay person. But at that time, there were no positive gay models. There was no public discussion of, uh, of the issue of homosexuality, no significant public discussion. But I remember when that law came in, I remember Prime Minister Trudeau saying the state had no business in the bedrooms of the nation. And uh, I remember thinking that this somehow was a good thing for somebody like me. Um, although I had never had a run in with the law, I didn't know any gay people, um, I really didn't know much else about that. I think it's uh, a huge uh, victory and celebration for the LGBT community but for Canada as a whole. It's one of those moments in Canadian history where something very momentous took place. Uh, the fact that um, laws that will criminalize people because they loved each other and they have to be of the same sex, um, you know, is a horrific thing. Uh, the decriminalization of those laws and repealing them uh, was a very, very important milestone in the human rights uh, history of Canada and certainly in the, in the history of uh, rights for the LGBT community. Um, so I, you know, I, I was thinking back, I had only been in Canada one year. I was, um, uh, I was maybe 16 years old. Uh, so I didn't even know about the debate at the time. Of course, as being, uh, becoming an adult and learning about it and being part of the queer community, uh, now I can, you know, I understand the the significance and the importance of what it must have felt like at the time, and I, um, you know, I wish I knew some of the folks who were involved in that. What it must have felt like that struggle that they took on, um, so that today we can enjoy those human rights and we can be freer of discrimination. Not free because there still is homophobia, but at least you know, changing the law is a very significant milestone. I was uh, born in, in 1967, so I guess if it's been 40 years I would be, uh, I would have been a criminal my, my first year of my life, but I wasn't practicing of course, but the, the uh, 
fact is what Trudeau did in terms of decriminalizing and taking uh, the government out of the bedrooms of the nation was critically important to uh, the advancement of rights and attitudes in Canada. Uh, but his Charter of Rights and Freedoms uh, was hugely impactful. And if Trudeau hadn't done what he did when he did it, I wouldn't have had the opportunity to be doing what I'm doing today. Trudeau and his just society has made a huge difference for me and, and a huge difference in what Canada means to us and what Canada means to the world. Nous avons un devoir de mémoire, nous avons un devoir de reconnaissance. Merci aux militants qui ont rendu possible cette victoire. Merci à Pierre Elliott Trudeau d'avoir été courageux et vivons ouvertement ce que nous sommes comme personnes homosexuelles.